have time to decorate it any way you want. Okay, let me show you guys what the other classes have been doing. That way you have an idea of uh, what we're making today. So let me start off with what the first class did. So let me just start off by saying that we're making a DIY a travel mugs. So DIY stands for do it yourself. So here's what the first class did. We made a travel mug and um, mine has rainbows and husky paws on it. The next class that I taught this to, we did uh, a puppy, or I did a puppy, I should say, because you could do whatever you want on the inside. And uh, this is what I did for last class. Uh, I didn't get to finish it. There was a lot of questions on that class, so um, this is all I got done in that class. And uh, I just made a husky, and that's really cool. So let me show you guys how the proper way how to do a travel mug uh, with a really complicated lid. I think it's complicated. It might be easy for you guys. And then we can decorate it any way you want. So you can, if you want to make a Star Wars theme, Lego theme, or anything else you want, you can once we're done. All right, so let's start off with the first direction. The first direction, you want to create the side of the mug not too parallel, meaning not too straight up and down like this. You want to make sure it's angled a little bit. We're not too angled. If you make it this angled like this, it doesn't look like a travel mug anymore. It looks like a, uh, a bowl. So you want to make sure you angle it slightly. So here's my left side. I'm going to angle it about this much. And then here's the other side of my paper. I'm going to angle it the opposite way. There we go. So that's the side of my mug. Notice how I didn't angle it too much. If you angle it too much, it looks like a bowl. If you don't angle it enough, it looks too straight up and down. So you want to make sure that the top is a bigger opening than the bottom. The bottom is a smaller opening. The top is a bigger opening. All right, I'll wait a little bit. Good job, Paige. I guess I can show you my mug. I'm kind of drinking out of it right now, but it might spill everywhere. Um, so notice how in my mug, um, I kind of like drew my son, and he's like uh, doing all these random stuff. Uh, so notice how the bottom of the mug is shorter. The top of the mug has a bigger opening. All right, let's keep going. All right, let me zoom in for this next part by putting my station on a box. Okay, I'm going to do this next part in pencil because I want to show you guys what not to do. Now, we normally make this... Uh, Example, or sorry, this mistake in kindergarten. You don't want to connect these two points with a nice large curve like this. That's not good. And you never want to create it with, or sometimes, well, at least for this project, you don't want to create it with a straight line either. What you want to do is just do a slight curve to connect them both. So slight curve going down and going back up. So just a slight curve. Well, let me just erase the bad versions. So again, you don't want to curve too far down, and you don't want to go too straight. Good job, everybody. Good work. Ooh, I see a page drew. Uh, it looks like a Fortnite llama. Pretty cool. All right, let me teach you guys the next step. I'm going to zoom down a little bit, or Move my paper down. You are now looking at the top of the travel mug. And I'll zoom in a lot more once I'm done. Now this next part, you're going to curve down again and a slight curve down. But notice where I started. Notice where I started. So I'm going to zoom in right now to show you guys what I just did. What I did was I kind of went uh, past the line a little bit because I want to make sure that my lid is sticking out on each end a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what I did last class so it makes more sense. See how the lid's kind of sticking out on the side a little bit? Just so it looks like you can actually put a lid on top, like plop it on. Same thing with the other lids. Notice how it kind of sticks out on each end. That's exactly what I just did for you guys. Once you're done with this curve and it sticks out a little bit on each end, just make a small dash going upwards, just like so. Just a small dash going up. Once you're done with those small dashes, just connect them both with a slight curve down, or you can try to follow 
very closely the line you just did earlier, just a little bit further away. So it kind of looks like a bent rectangle. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the next step. The next step, what I want you guys to do is it's gonna be a very, very, very thin oval and it's gonna be hovering above, but not too far up. So you don't wanna go too high up with this oval. I'm gonna go right around here. Kind of looks like a very thin cookie. And that's gonna be the top of the lid and making sure you have enough room on the, the inside or like right in between for another line for later. Make sure it's not too far away, but not too close either. And make sure this oval is not too wide either. You don't want to make it wider than the actual cup. Okay, looks like we have six minutes, so we're in good shape. All right, next step on this oval, just do a small dash going down, but don't touch the cup. This went down a little bit. Um, if yours is a little bit higher up than mine, um, just try to make it so it's uh, halfway down, like uh, in the middle somewhere over there. So you might want to go a little bit lower. OK. All right. Remember what I said that you need a little bit of space in between? We're going to fill that in with another curved line. So from those dashes that we just did earlier, just connect one side to the other with a slight bend of a line, just like that. So now it looks like a floating disc floating on top of the coffee cup. And there's only two more steps left. So I'm going to zoom in for these next two. OK. So I zoomed in a tad bit. All right. To connect the disk that we made, the floating disk, to the cup, all you do is literally connect it with two lines. So one line here, so it's connected, and then connect it on the other side, just like so. Now, for the last step, I just want to show you guys what the other classes have done, because there are different variations of how to make an opening. So if you want, some people make an oval for opening for the spout. Some people make a crescent moon, kind of like that. I think Dunkin' Donuts has those on their travel mugs. Um, some people make a circle like that, or you could do either or. I think for this one, I might want to do uh, an oval for my opening. There we go. And I think I might want to color the bottom half uh, black, just so it looks more like an opening, kind of. All right, we are done. Now it's time to design it yourself. Anyway, you want. Uh, right now, I'm going to try to create some shadows here with a gray marker. So I'm kind of going on the edges here and coloring them uh, gray. And then I think I might want to do some gray inside the hole, and then right around here, right on the top, just like so. All right. So right now, I'm going to zoom out by lowering my picture. OK, so that's my lid. And again, you guys can decorate the inside of your lid any way you want. So if you want to do like. Husky themes or rainbows like how I did with the other one. You can do that. Anything you want, guys. Um, if you guys are wondering, I did uh, record the session. So if you did have trouble, um, you can always rewatch it later. It's OK. I haven't decided what I want to do for mine yet. All right, we have three minutes left. Um, so again, you guys can decorate any way you want. I might go back and finish one of my other drawings. 
So I did like a rainbow for the first one. I kind of like this one a lot. So maybe I'll finish this one. And then this class, I did a husky. I think I might want to go back to this one and then finish this one instead. All right, so if I think for this one, I think I might want to add some pink to it. That'd be pretty neat. So that's the cool thing about having a blank uh, uh, travel mug is that you can do anything you want. That's why in my real life mug, I did my son. That's why he's like doing like all these cool activities. Pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna keep coloring mine. We have about two minutes left. If you do want to hold up some artwork um, that you've done either today or in the past to share with the whole class, um, you could just you don't have to unmute yourself. You can just show it to the camera right now so everyone can see. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just thought since we have time, you can share. Um, I see Paige is holding a gymnastics one. Really I cool. love it, Paige. That's awesome. Right? It's awesome. All Ooh, right. Oliver, great colors. Carter, that looks great. Yeah, Carter's looks amazing too. Yeah. I saw Oliver's. Great job. I see Ziola's um, ice cream that she drew. It's really neat. All right. I think I'm almost done with my puppy one. There. I think I messed up my marker a little bit by blending it in with the brown, but that's okay. All right. I think I'm done with mine. Maybe I'll add a little bit of brown inside the container. There you go. All right, I think I'm gonna consider mine done. Um, again, I did this four times already, so it's very fun. All right, with that said, um, that's it. I'm going to stop the recording and I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Oh, Mrs. Hardigan, it looks like it's gonna save to your Google Drive.